closer because I'd like to show you something very interesting. Please come this way. The state was built here, and I'd like to show you that red marble altar. That marble altar marks the place of the very first Hungarian, which lasted for 150 years. And during the besieges and wars, the medieval cathedral was in ruins. It was totally ruined. The modern cathedral was started in 1822. Can you hear the bell? Or the entrance. We don't use the entrance very often, uh, only when the Archbishop comes to Esztergom, but over the entrance you can In the colonnade you can see the statues of medieval kings and archbishops. So from this point, if you look up at the relief again, you can see that the never place one life at the same time, you always place two or three. You find funny things. Perhaps you wouldn't expect to see caterpillars and butterflies in the crypt of the basilica. Now, the cat. But when we die and our soul flies to heaven, we'll become beautiful butterflies. In the middle, you can see a snake which is biting. Heaven will never end. We'll have an eternal life there, according to our belief. Will you come this way with me, please? because the walls are 70 meters thick. As you can see, it is written here, a uh, few words. Uh, he is Józef Cardinal Mincenti. He was a very important figure in Hungarian history in the 20th century. He started his career as a priest, protecting not only the Catholics, but the Jewish people as well. Uh, then, after the Second World War, he was imprisoned for the third in Budapest, where he lived until 1971. In 1971, there was an agreement between the Pope and the Hungarian communist leaders, and according to this agreement, he had to leave the country. He came here to Esztergom in 1991, and he prayed for the soul of religious from all over the world where Hungarian people live. When they come to Esztergom, they come to visit József Kardinal. They are being watched by God. Now okay. it is the same that is theory. psychological. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you have a look at the sanctuary, in the sanctuary you can see a beautiful Corara Italy. On the altar you can see the statues of some Hungarian medieval saints. The altar is about <laughs> and we <they> have <laughs> Okay, so this is the altar of Jesus' sacred heart. The second altar is the altar of the Holy Cross. The third altar is the one of Saint Juan who saved human beings from the sins. This is the only way we can go to heaven. In the painting, the message is very clear. From the first couple up to the cross, in one after. Uh, King Stephen had a big problem. Uh, when he died, his death had the right to crown the new king. So the crown is very, very important for the country and also for the Archbishop. That's why the Archbishop ordered the king. That was a Turkish town. He lived in Luxembourg, which is today's Slovenia, and in Vienna. Uh, this was also the time by the envoy of the Roman Empire who came here to Esztergom. 
right of stone stairs, we entered a magnificent large hall that could, that could hold over a hundred tables and which contained neither pillars nor columns. The ceiling was decorated walls of the castle uh, on the side of the Danube River. So this room is eight meters in width, but their big dining hall was uh, twice eight meters. All around the chapel were the Sibyls who prophesied the coming of Christ. And there's a, a, another passage uh, here, but I'd like to read out uh, that part upstairs. Then you come. which was made in the 15th century. Uh, this door gate... Uh uh, the heads of apostles and scenes from the New Testament. It is very, very interesting that we have got about a thousand working on making this puzzle uh, to create a, uh, the original decoration of the chapel. We are in the royal chapel, which was the personal or private chapel of the king. It was built by now the Lord and Sermilio, the seat of people here. They give an impression of a bigger building. And if you have a look at those I will mention that the King Bill was a very rich king. He had two. But then he said, we cannot see the river from here, but please believe me. A cél az, hogy mutassunk egy kis ízelítőt Magyarország szépségeiből. Ebben benne van a történelmünk, egy darabja, és hát a, talán az ország egyik legszebb tája. Én nagyon szeretem ezt a környéket, elég jól ismerem is. Sokszor szoktam én is itt családommal kirándulni, akár kenuval, akár biciklivel, akár gyalog. Sok emlékfüze ez a környékhez, és ismétlem szerintem Magyarország egyik legszebb tája. He was a great collector of art. He collected Italian, Netherlandish, uh, Austrian, Germany, Upper Hungary, and in Transylvania, the part where the Ottoman Turkish Empire didn't reach. He tried to collect and save these pieces in the land. Unfortunately, the original Predella uh, was uh, lost in a chimney fire in 1905. But fortunately, before the fire, photos standing here. It is a so-called wing altar piece. You can see the wings. Uh, these were open only on the most important celebrations. On ordinary days, it was closed, and the people in the church uh, couldn't see.